Ticket. I'm here with Steve. Get us at www.yeticket.com. Go to www.yeticket.com to go to your entertainment ticket. Yeah, I'm here with my buddy Steve, and I'm Al McGee, and we just saw this brand new flick called Prince, Prince of Persia, Persia, The Sands of Time. Yeah. Well, this is based on a video game. And uh, first, let me tell you who's in it. Who's in it is uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Did you like him? Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal is fine. There's an issue with him. I want to talk about it a bit later. But Jake Gyllenhaal did a fine job in the film overall. And also uh, Gemma Archerton. She played uh, Timama, uh, yeah. the princess, the the there priest goddess princess. I really got confused about what her role was. And Ben Kingsley, oh, that's my guy. I really like him a lot. And also. Someone who was surprising in this film, really, uh, he you know he was a comic element, uh, Alfred Molina. He was Shikamar. Actually, Al- yes, he was actually, he's the comic relief, and he did a great job in that role. Actually, every scene he's in, I laugh. <laughs> yeah, he really yeah. Funny in his role. He, he really, he dives right into that role. He had a great time playing it, and I had a great time watching him on the screen. Yeah, he brought a lot of life to the film. Yeah, he, yeah, did, he, he really lot, did. Yeah, he really did. But um, and it's good because we needed a lot of life. Um, video games to movies usually don't have a great track record. You can look at the um, Tomb Raider movies. You can look at you can look all the way back to Super Mario Brothers. Video games go usually do not translate well to film. And to me, this one fell into that category again. Really? Yeah. I felt like it was. I felt like I was. The movie actually played like a video game. I almost felt like I can. Use a remote control to make Jake Gyllenhaal move around, jumping. Yeah, off to buildings. jump over the roofs. And, well, I enjoyed this film. I don't know. I, I thought this. Uh, I thought they captured this very well. I thought this was a pretty good film based on the video game. Oh, I, I said I'm a video game player. I know the video game. You know, people who are fans of the video game actually might like this movie because you know the, the Prince of Persia jumps from rooftop to rooftop. Um, there's a lot of sword play. There's even you can even say there's boss levels and games and boss levels. Yeah, games. right. Yeah. You know, usually these these are characters called the assassins, which are you know. Very special characters with each a, a unique ability. To, you know, you know, in the video games you have to beat the boss to get to the next level. Well, the Prince of Persia in this movie has to do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. They had to beat the boss to get to the next level in this film. But like I said, I thought this film was very good. I, I thought they captured it very well. It was it was well filmed. It has a great director, Mike Newell, who's a, you know who's a very well known director. He's made a lot of good movies. Sure have, and also uh, you know produced by Jerry Bruckenheimer. Right. You know. So you know you can have some good action. It just the whole thing never really. A lot of action. A lot of action, and you know a lot of big sound effects, a lot of special effects. Because, it was loud too. You know, very loud because the whole point of the movie is that um, the prince, which is actually there is actually a video game called The Sands of Time, which. Um, it's loosely based on the video game itself too, the Sands of Time, where you have this dagger where if you push a button on the dagger, you can go back like 60 seconds in time to help correct any small mistakes you've made. Even you got killed. Even if you got killed, yes. And it's a, so it's a very you know, special dagger, and Jake Gyllenhaal is trying to get this dagger to safety, so um, the main villain, who we're not going to say who the main villain is, can't use it to you know, turn back time and change history. Yeah, that's right. Well, that was the, what the whole movie was about. But, you know, like I said, I enjoyed it. I, I thought it was great family entertainment. I think it was a little rough for little kids, though. I think it's going to be a little bit too dramatic. It's for, the for a rating, for a reason. Right. So, you know, I wouldn't recommend it for little kids. But, you know, if you take them, go with them. And uh, I thought the acting was good, too. I could actually we had a good cast. So you're not going to get bad acting. You're not going to get... I guess it may have been just a very formulated action film. You know, just set in a different, you know, in a different setting. You sort of, you know, give us find the beats of where all the action's going to happen, what's going to happen, it's just a bit more of like, you know, it's... it's well, that's Jerry, come on. Yes, it is Jerry, I just was hoping, I guess, for something a little different. I've seen this action before, and I just wanted something fresher, and it just didn't get it to me. I was so hoping for something good, and it just it didn't all... Like I said, to me, Alfred, if it wasn't for Alfred Molina, 
it would actually be even worse. Well, I, I thought this no, I thought this film was good. I mean, you know, it had a lot of action for me. And I enjoyed it. Because again, I rate movies on was I entertained? Was it entertaining to me? And also, was it decent entertainment or good entertainment? And I'm gonna say this was good entertainment. That's why I enjoyed it, Steve. I was just to me, it was just okay entertainment. That's why I wasn't very moved to hell. Well, yeah, of course, you know, the prince, you know, he was gonna win in the end. You knew that was gonna happen, but how he's gonna win, that's the other thing I like, and how he won. That's why I enjoyed it too. I like the way they composed the end. Right, and I've and I got that. And, just, and the other issue I brought up earlier, how you know about Jake Gyllenhaal, there's a lot of talk going on right now because how the filmmakers whitewash it because he's a prince of Persia and he's a white guy. Well, you know, but look it, at Alfred Molina; he's English too. Come on. Right, and that, you know what? It, but they kind of I thought they kind of darkened him up. The, the, Jake Gyllenhaal, you know what? He was a good performer, and actually, people don't know in the very first video game of Prince of Persia, yeah. Prince of Persia actually was from a different country. Oh, really? Yes. Yes, mm. I know my video games very well. <laughs> yeah, I didn't play that video game. Now I'm playing different video games. I'm not going to mention what they are. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just, I guess the, um, the action just never brought me in this time, Alex. It brought me in. I enjoyed it. And actually, this is like Mike Newell's this, this is his first action film. He's been other, he's made fantasy films. He, he did um, Harry Potter, The Goblet of Fire. Right. You know, he's done you know pieces like uh, Four Weddings and a Funeral, so he's done a lot of very character Films. Well, he tried to put a lot of character in these in these uh, characters, also like the relationship between Jake Gyllenhaal and the princess. You know, they try to do that, and also a little bit more character in with his father and his brothers and things like that too. Oh, right, very, he had a very strong family element. The, bro- the brothers are very close. Yeah, and you know, you know, the action of the film, you know, actually drives a wedge, you know, between the brothers. You know, you know, so I, the character part. I like it's just you know, I enjoyed it, but it, but this you see you're here to see the action and even though and I know you really like the action and the action there's some a lot of action sequences a lot of them play out the same as just him bouncing off the walls you know hitting people and so on and so forth. I enjoyed that. Okay, but it's, it's, I guess I was looking for more. I'm, I'm sometimes a part to satisfy. Okay, Princess Sands. I mean, what do you expect him jumping to a spaceship? Well, there's a video game right there. <laughs> well, how many palm trees are you gonna give? Getting just two palm trees for me this time. Whoa! And Alfred, if Alpha Marina wasn't in it, it'd be just one palm tree. Wow! Two palm trees, Al. Wow! You know, for the action and for the fun, you know, I really enjoyed this film. I'm going to give it four palm trees. This movie was good. I mean, I enjoyed it. Like I say, I was totally entertained. What was going to happen next? I wanted the prince to win. And also, I wanted him to get the princess. And so, you know, I enjoyed it. That's why I'm giving it four palm trees. It's a good film. It's okay. I thought. Well, he says okay. I says a great film. I gave it four. He gave it two. Let's see what you say. Well, I'm Al McGee, and this is Steven Leibowitz. And keep watching us at Your Entertainment Ticket. Get us at www.yeticket.com. Catch you soon and catch you every day. Yeah. You better. Bye. Bye. Bye.